Ready. Ready, Freddie. Okay. We're live. Almost ready here. It says we're live. Oh, we're live. Okay, here we go. I never know when it's going to start. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I am Lori Dufresne. I am really, really excited to be with these two awesome, beautiful ladies today. Tracy Akamini, did I say it right? Yes, you did. <laughs> I've been practicing. And Carol, say your last name. Gallegos. Okay, I would not have gotten that correct. <laughs> if you it. live in San Diego, girl, you should know some of that Spanish going on down there. <laughs> <laughs> I, should, I know, I know. So anyway, I am so happy that you girls um, are here today to share your awesome health transformation stories. And um, honestly, so Tracy came into my life. How many years ago, Tracy? Like, oh my gosh, two? at least two, yeah. probably a little over. Yep. As a result of a friend of a friend of a friend getting healthy. Um, and that's what I love so much about our community is that these strangers come into our lives and we get to bless them with hope and health. And um, then they go on and they inspire health into others as well. Um, so this is a result of what we call the ripple effect, which mm -hmm. is super cool. Um, so Tracy, actually, I'm going to let you take it away. If you want to just jump on and share a little bit about your story and how you found our health program and what that's done for you in your life. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Laurie. And thank, thanks for having us on your channel here today. Um, well, it, it was a, a few years ago. I'm trying to think now because I just lose track of time, but I guess it was four years ago. I don't know. A while ago, I got very sick. Um, I had always been uh, the same weight pretty much all my life, uh, but I always thought I was heavy, one of those. I thought I was always 10 pounds heavy, but you'll see the picture on the left there. Uh, when I hit uh, 50, everything kind of started to go downhill. Um, I began to put on all this weight and just feel completely fatigued, and I could not figure out what was wrong with me. Went to doctor after doctor. And I'm making a very long story, very short for sake of time, but uh, no one could figure out what was wrong with me. I went to a, a holistic health center and they figured out it was my adrenal glands and my thyroid. And they pretty much got me my energy back, but told me my, that my body being a self-healing agent would, I would lose the weight uh, once my body healed. But two years into holistic everything and I could not jet a pound. And I saw a side by side like this of my dear friend, Janet, on um, Facebook and I called her and said, you know, what in the world are you doing? And she told me about the program. And I have to tell you at first, I said, no, not my thing. Uh, and when I look at why I said no initially, it was because number one, I was afraid because I was a professional dieter all my life and everything always failed. And so I just didn't want to try what I thought was a diet and uh, I was afraid to fail. So I did what uh, every kind of good church girl did is I fasted and prayed for 40 days. And over that time, I gave up anything that might be creating weight gain, carbs, everything. And I gained four pounds over that 40 days. So I called up my friend Janet and I said, I don't care what it is. Send it to me. I'm in. And sure enough, within the first month, I lost almost 20 pounds and just let, lost the weight thereafter. And more importantly than the weight loss for me was is that I had even more energy, clarity of mind. I felt so incredibly uh, invincible again, you know, and I felt young. I, it, people would say to me, wow, you look great. And I would say, thank you. But I feel even better because after had been being sick for two years and heavy and just and and fatigued, I just wanted to feel better. That's I just wanted to feel better. But what I didn't know is that the program not only I'd lost the weight on, but it it cleared my healed my self image issues that I had and gave me a new relationship with food and uh, and with people because I was hiding there for a while because when you look like I did in that picture and I might have been smiling on the outside but on the inside I felt awful. And so I just didn't feel good. I just didn't feel good. And as much as I'd love life, but there was a point when I just said, Lord, if this is all there is, just take me home because I just couldn't do it. So I was just so glad that Janet posted on Facebook and then I saw her and we reconnected after 25 years uh, of not, you know, being really in, in touch except for snail mail and stuff like that. And there it went. So it was just an incredible journey for me. And, uh, Shall I just segue now into how Carol comes around? 
uh, we were down in Florida for uh, our company's uh, a get together, a training. And Brian and I got in the car and we went to see Santiago and Carol, Santiago's Carol's husband, who were our coaches way back in the day, over 25 years ago in the church planting arena. We were all in ministry together. And I said, Brian, we have to go talk to Carol because at that time, I had always known Carol to look just like she does today. Beautiful, um, electric, healthy. She was always very thin and vibrant. And I wanted her to join me in um, helping other people get healthy. Because as a result of my health journey, people started asking me what I was doing. And I could not keep it a secret. I mean, after being trapped inside of my body, uh, you know, and feeling like I was let out of prison, I had to share it with people. So I went to Carol to say, I'm, I'm helping setting the captives free in a different way. And I think we should link arms and you should, you should do this with me. We can help transform lives together. You know, it's like get back in ministry together. And to my surprise, Carol said, <laughs> Carol, how did it happen for you then? Put it in my vein. <laughs> Hook me up. <laughs> Hook me up. I said, what? <laughs> Well, in the meantime, all this is going on with Tracy. I went through a very late menopause. Um, I didn't actually go through menopause until I was 61. And um, I'm 64 now. And in that little span of time, I put on about 27 pounds. And it just kept bulking up and bulking up. And my middle was getting very thick. I was uncomfortable um, my doctor was concerned. My cholesterol levels were elevated. My blood pressure was so elevated that she was concerned about the possibility of my going on medication and had one of the nurses where I work taking my blood pressure every day so I could log it for two weeks to show her. Uh, I also had some hematuria in my urine, which is microscopic blood in my urine which can be a cancer marker. So my uh, doctors were doing some testing and some um, watching of that as well. And so I, I didn't connect all of this with weight gain at all. I just felt uncomfortable. I felt thick mm -hmm. and I didn't feel like myself. So when Tracy and Brian came, I had seen Tracy on the face on her Facebook page, I was speechless. And when they called and said, hey, we're in Orlando, you guys wanna have lunch? I'm like, lunch, come over for the weekend. <laughs> so, um, over they came, they spent the weekend in our house. We sat on our lanai, we went on long walks together. We went out to eat and um, Tracy shared her heart about this health journey she was on. And I loved, the comprehensive plan of this. I love that Tracy, who I have known for 25, 27 years, we don't even remember, it's been so long, but I, I trust her. I know her. I know she'll lead me in a right direction. So I had no apprehension to say, Tracy, can you help me? I need this. I need to lose at that time, I thought maybe 10, 10 or 15 pounds. But once I went down that 10 pounds, I knew I wasn't there yet. I could still feel this thickness. So um, I also, you know, I'm a therapist. I'm a psychotherapist. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. So I have in my training and in my background that we need to address the biopsychosocial spiritual, those components. This program addresses the biology of us. We have these amazing fuelings that uh, nourish our body all day long with nourishment, not just snacks or junk going in, but nourishment. Uh, and then the, we learn about the lean and green that I, I chose to eat in the evening when I got home with my husband. So the lean protein and the um, veggies or salad or whatever you choose. It also deals with our psychology, our mental status, our mind, our healthy mind. This is a huge component.
component, um, not so much in my case, because my case was more the change of life, but a lot of my clients are struggling with, you know, the healthy mind around food and the way we eat and why we eat and when we eat and what do we eat and all of that kind of comes into it. So the biology, the psychology, the, uh, the social piece, we're all social beings. We all need to have a social component. So there's the, our life, our, our private Facebook page. There's our coach. There's our community. Uh, my clients all around here all support each other all the time. They're all linking arms. They're encouraging, saying, you know, affirmations and help with each other. And uh, then there's the spiritual, you know, feeding this spirit we all have and can become malnourished itself. So if we can nourish that biopsychosocial spiritual life that each of every one of us have on this planet, if we can balance that, our health comes into order, our weight comes into order, but not only our weight, our healthy emotional mindset, spiritual mindset also comes into order, which is a beautiful thing. I love it. Wowza. Mm. <laughs> it's awesome. And you know, what's what, what I think, too, is like everything you said, Carol, is so spot on. Um, a lot of people get to that desperate state in their life and they just give up, mm -hmm. right? Or they make temporary changes that are going to only take them so far because they're looking at maybe, I don't know, losing some weight or getting a little more energy or whatever their goals are. But exactly what you're saying, like we encompass everything as a program in itself. It's, it's everything that creates long lasting change. And so that's the piece for me as well. Um, my husband and I found this program six and a half years ago. And, and actually I did not share your picture, Carol. I'm gonna pull my picture up as well. Um, what, what was very different for us is that you know, I, my husband lost 50 pounds and I lost 30, but what's really different for us is that we've lost the weight before, yeah. you know, we've lost the weight, but then as soon as we got that goal or saw that number on the scale, it started going again in the opposite direction because we were not working on the mindset piece. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that that's what makes us unique. That's what makes us a program and not a diet. It's what makes us a lifestyle of habits. And we focus on habits. Every person is a unique individual. And so there's no like cookie cutter explanation for one person or not. Like we customize a plan for you as an individual. We take a look at your current habits in your life. And then we come in and we customize something that's going to work for you and your lifestyle. And occasionally we need to make a couple tweaks here and there to make it just right and make it fit you exactly right. But that's the beauty of what we have here. Um, and this is Carol's picture I did not put up as well. And I love this picture because like looking at you frowning, it's this is how we feel. I know it's supposed to be a funny pose, but this is how we so many people feel. Yes. You know, every day you wake up, you look in the mirror. Are you smiling? It, I mean, look how glamorous you look here on the left. It's, it's not even about the weight. It's about how we are feeling about ourselves, the energy, the not feeling sick, not feeling frustrated, not feeling lost, not feeling yeah. like you have, not feeling hopeless. Like that's the difference, I think. Wouldn't you agree, ladies? Exactly. Exactly. You were talking about, Lori, the ease of the program and that you can customize uh, what would work for us. And that is really the brilliance of what Tracy did for me. She sat down with me and we worked through what my goals were, what I wanted to see accomplished and my lifestyle. So I'm a therapist. I'm in the car all day going, I work in hospice. So I work with patients and their families during some of the most difficult times of their lives. But what my lifestyle and my work life requires is that I'm in my car all day. I don't have a microwave. I don't have access to prep food. I can't do any of that. So Tracy said, well, there's this great 
um, program called Grab and Go. We'll get you that and you won't have to prep or do anything. I'm telling you girls, that was the dream life for me because I can just grab these uh, fuelings, they call them, they're little fuelings. I get my fueling in, I drink my water and I can go. So this, the ease of it was a game changer for me because in most situations I would not be able to um, accommodate uh, the prepping and all of that. I had no way to do any of that. So this made it, the ease of use was just brilliant for, for my situation for sure. Yeah. And I remember too, Carol, when we were in your kitchen that first evening and you were kind of telling me what, and you know, what you would eat on a normal basis. It was all healthy, good food. It's just, a, a, you know, what, what I find when I do health assessments, which is what we do when we first engage with someone to see how, you know, our program would be a fit for them is, you know, find out what they, like I did with you, find out what your health goals were, what your current reality was, what your current habits were. And I find with most clients, we're, we all do some things right. And sometimes it's just a little simple tweak that needs to get readjusted, you know, and yeah. we did that with you, you know, and Santiago yeah. would lay out all your, your snacks and your goodies and all. And there were just some things that were out of place and just being on program for a, a short time to get your, your kind of your metabolism reset and your body operating the way I believe God designed it to where what actually happens is we get into a very light fat burn state where um, your body burns its own stored fat. It's operating the way it should. You're, you're putting in nutrition, it's digesting, it's getting sent to the right places, what's not needed leaves and your body burns its own stored fat. And that's what happened with you and all of us that are uh, on the program and hit that wonderful fat burn state. And then our body gets reactivated. I always feel like it reconfigured me because be told when it was all said and done I didn't change my eating habits when I gained that 50 pounds I would literally wake up I, I felt like in the morning and be 10 pounds heavier over four months I gained 10 pounds each month and then the rest was yes a little bit of eating because I was so depressed because I was 40 pounds overweight but um as I lost that weight on on our program I am now five pounds less than my high school weight but two sizes smaller simply because the fat is gone and the lean muscle stayed. And where before I was always an eight ten, now I can I can definitely be in a six and it depends how things cut. I do have some fours and like, that was never me. That was never me. I mean, I started dieting at 10 years old because I thought I was heavy and was always, you know, one size. And I never could ever imagine that I would be where I am today in my pushing closer to 60 than not at this point but feeling better than ever, you know? So it's just an amazing program that we offer. And I just want, like, we call it health and hope because you get healthy and there's hope. There's hope again. Yeah, yeah. I never thought, I mean, I used to pray, you know, Lord, if you can't help me take this 10 pounds off then make me okay with it, you know? And, and <laughs> I know, you know, if you seek, you'll find the answer. And this was certainly the answer for me. I just wish I had found out about it not only 40 days earlier, but 40 years earlier. But, you know, hey, when the student is ready, the teacher will come, I guess. So I'm just so thankful that. Um, I remember when Tracy said to me, well, I, I was saying to Tracy, you know, I've, I've always been thin all my life and most of my life underweight. I remember when I couldn't even give blood because I was too underweight. And uh, this weight started coming on. And I said to Tracy, you know, I don't know how to lose this. I've never had a weight problem. I don't know how to do this. And she said, newsflash. Overweight people don't know how to do this either. <laughs> like, okay, I got that. Yeah, and and the beauty of it all said and done is that it's been three years that I've kept the weight off. I haven't put any weight back on. And Laurie, how long has it been for you that you've kept your weight off? Six and a half years. Six and a half years. And a half years. So something that we've all struggled with for years and years, or most of us have, uh, you know, it's a once and done. I mean, it's probably the simplest way to do it, you know, and nothing again is easy. You do have to work, you know, you have to put some, some, uh, thought into it. And, uh, but Hey, I feel like this is a journey that I'm done. I'm done with the mental battle. I'm done with the anguish. I'm where I need to be. 
And you know, the beautiful um, opportunity that has been built into this amazing program is that of the inspiration piece to be able to inspire others in their health. And I just have enjoyed that beyond measure. I just feel like my clients have inspired me to stay healthy and it, it, it just perpetuates itself. Um, they're, they're so positive. They, they, they infuse each other with positivity. They're always there for each other. And um, I think the ability, I mean, there's a lot of programs out there you can do, but with this one, there's a component of giving back and inspiring others and bringing that hope and being that hope dealer that I, I don't know that it's anywhere out there. And when, when people call me and say, can, can you help me? I need to lose weight or I need to, I, I just had a baby and I have to lose some weight or whatever it is. Um, you can say, yes, I can help you. And you can be confident and strong that, yeah, this is going to work for you. You work this, it will work. It's goof proof. It's a no brainer. Science is behind this almost 40 years of science behind this. We have this going on. We have Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson, brilliant physician who has put all these components together for us and inspired all of us. So it is such a comfort to be able to say to people, you can do this. We got you. Absolutely. Exactly. And that's just what we do. That's it. You know, but then that's what's so beautiful about it. It's like, Everything, all of the elements are in place. You know, all of the habits are in place. We just partner with you on living your best life. And that's what it is. Ladies, what would you say um, to your prior self? Like you said, Tracy, you wish you found it 40 days ago or whatever. How, what did you say, 40? Not just 40 days yeah. before that I put it off when I found out, but 40 years. Because I, I dieted from the time I was 10 and I was 50 when I had my meltdown. So, and a lot of that was due to my up and down yo-yo dieting, restricting, over-exercising. So what would I say to my prior self? Yeah. Like, you know, I, part of the reason I said no to Janet initially was I didn't want to fail again. I was afraid. I was very apprehensive. I thought it was a diet. I thought it was, you know, one more, one more thing, you know, and I was, didn't want to tell my husband because he had been with me through everything from the bun trainer to Jane Fonda to whatever. <laughs> and um, I didn't want to add one more tool to my tool chest, you know, arsenal of failures. And uh, this was the real deal. So I would say, you know, um, I wished I had, like um, Carol said, Carol knew me and trusted me. And she knew I would lead her in the right direction. And I wish I had trusted 40 days prior because 40 days, I could have been so much further ahead. I mean, it is what it is now, uh, but I would say if you're considering and um, you know you know Carol and you're in her area or not, you just know her and trust her. You know, if you're watching me and we've talked, just trust the system. You know, it just, it just trust your friend. And it doesn't matter where you live. All of our coaching is virtual. Tracy lives in Pennsylvania. I'm in Florida. She coached me and hung on to me and uh, sent me inspirational things every day and called me once in a while. And, you know, we just connected and had this sisterhood. So um, it doesn't really matter where you are. I have clients, as you girls both do, that live all around the United States. So um, that's another brilliance of this program that we can help you no matter where you are. I get client in Alaska. Yeah. So, Never even been to Alaska. <laughs> so it's really fun for us to be able to connect with people all over, all over the area and, you know, our habits of health on Wednesday nights, not to be missed. Uh, there's a link where you can go and pick up past habits of health, which I tend to do every morning getting ready for work. I listen to one of those. So every day there's a feeding of your soul and a feeding of positive uh, framework coming in, changing your thought patterns and, and enhancing your life. So, you know, Dr. Anderson says, it's not about the weight you lose. It's about the life you gain. Oh, I love it. So true. And, you know, asking yourself the question as well is, are you more um, committed 
to keeping your life the way it is right now? Or are you more committed to making change? And all it takes is making a phone call. Like we are not scary people. <laughs> and I know how scared I was. I know it very, very well how scared I was to pick up the phone to call my friend Susie. I was very scared because I was having such an internal conversation, a battle going on in my mind, telling me why it would not work for me. Sure, it's great for all of these other people, but it wasn't going to work for me. And I was scared and it took me four months. So what I would say to my other, my former self before, I would tell myself exactly like what you said, Tracy, just trust, trust and give yourself a 20 minute conversation. Give yourself that gift of a 20 minute conversation. Yes. We all know how scary it was. Mm -hmm. and we also know how possible it is for you to transform your life. And we would love to partner with you in making that happen. So anything else to close us off, ladies? I love you guys. Like your hearts are so beautiful and it's awesome to see how many people you are helping. Um, any, any closing thoughts? Uh, let's see. We've talked about so many things. Um, really just more of the same, you know, just trust and make a decision. And like you said, Lori, are you more committed to where you're at now or where you want to be? I mean, I think that what we've learned that this is, is not a diet. It's an optimal health journey and it's an opportunity for you to uh, take your life on in a new way. And the only way to make lasting changes is to make a change. You know, if nothing changes, nothing changes. So, you know, where, I mean, obviously, if you're watching and you want to lose some weight or feel better and you, you haven't been able to do it yourself. And that's what I learned. You know, I needed something external. I needed something to, um, you know, someone, you hear my dog in the background, he needs water. <laughs> yeah, I needed someone to help me. And so, oh, well, you know what I mean? Like link arms with someone. So we're all here for you. All three of us um, reach out, just reach out, just take a step. I would say your health is your wealth. Without your health, you don't have life. And I see this every single day up close and personal with people who are struggling with terminal illness. And regardless of how they got there, my heart is that there is no investment anybody wouldn't make if they get that terminal diagnosis and they need to get treatment. They go anywhere, they spend any amount of money, they do whatever it takes to try to get healthy. My thing is, let's go upstream and stay healthy, get healthy before we're sick and come through life healthy and strong and enjoying, for me, my later years. At 64, I'm a Grammy. And I wanna be there for those babies. I wanna be there and, and have fun with them and run with them and play with them and swim with them in the ocean and have great times. I don't want to be a sick Grammy on some kind of wheelchair that can't have any enjoyment in my life or the life of my family. There is no greater investment than in your health and what matters to you, you invest in. Exactly. Right. And you pay the price regardless, right? You yes. either pay for it on one end or the other. So, you know, there's, we pay prices for everything in life. And like you said, we invest in what's important to us. So, I mean, I always like to think, you know, either um, put your money where your mouth is, so to speak, like, like, invest in what's important or don't complain about it and just be okay with whatever that is for you. And that's, that's whatever's important to you is what matters. You know what I mean? I mean, what happens to matter to us is being healthy, living a longer, happier life and helping others achieve that goal. If that's what's important to them. So I love it. clear on your goals, yeah. right? And just one more point on that um, is that there's not a whole lot of things in life that we are in control of, right? There just isn't. That's right. A lot, a lot of times life happens to us and 
many for too many people it's 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 unfair i mean there's so many things that are happening to people and they're getting diagnosis and they're getting horrible news of, of a family member or whatever one the only thing that we are like literally in control of is what we put into our mouth that's it that's huge it's huge so how seriously are we taking it like we can overcome sugar addiction we can ever overcome these things a lot of people just think that oh i don't want to deprive myself or i'm a foodie i i love it when people say that to me i'm a foodie i'm like guess what so am i i love food i love food <laughs> really good food <laughs> I'm not alone right but it's just learning different ways of our different perspective you're not depriving yourself of food you're depriving yourself of living your best life. Life. That's what you're defining. Yeah. So, anyway, we could stay on all day. I know. I know we could. Because and as you can tell, if you're listening, we are very passionate about <laughs> this program and helping yes, people. We are. Hear our hearts. We would love to help you live your best life. And you are no different than any of us. If it can happen for us, it can happen for you. Exactly. No difference. So, anyway. Hope everyone has a blessed day. I love you, ladies. Thank you for love sharing. Love you too, Lori. Love you, Carol. Thank you for this. Thank you for having us on and inviting us, Lori. This was beautiful. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Love it. Thank you for thank you for sharing your hearts. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.